Good morning, folks. This comes to us from Hawaii via the USGS and the Weather Channel. Kilauea lava reaches record highs. El Salvador was rocking more than any other location yesterday with multiple five-pointers just off the south coast. Dominican Republic saw 4.3 on the northwest side of the Caribbean plate. Pretty unusual earthquake struck Oman just south of Iran and the northwest Russia east of Kamchatka took a moderate quake as well. New Zealand has been stuck in the Antarctic low for days. It's cold, snowy, which I guess makes this a snow-nado. A theater was demolished and roofs were damaged. Southern Australia is taking a chill pill from that southern wind as well, but the central part of the country is isolated from it and remains hot. Follow-up article here on their record October heat. Raphael remnants spinning in the northern Atlantic, taking its time to cross the pond. Still going to bring that warmer air over the continent, at least for today. Here's your 24-hour likelihood of rain. Tropical storm focus is on the central Atlantic. 99 is set to possibly impact the United States. On the mainland, that pressure convergence is readily evident on the wind map. Tonight's watch zone is just east of the action there. Switching gears to geomagnetism, we finally had a die down around 1600 UTC of the induced resonance as the last few sparse particles of the coronal hole stream hit and we return to ambient solar wind. This is a good example of how the rise in density in the orange around 1600 could be a good thing for our planet. Looking at the X-ray flux, the M9 from two days ago came from behind the limb and we waited to see if she'd continue the show when coming into Earth view. The answer is kinda. We had one M flare, it was small, came out of that same active region just cresting the limb. The CME produced is headed away from Earth as you see here. NOAA has 11596 as beta gamma. They think that's the primary active region. It appears to be losing its gamma class actually with the biggest spots apparently separated by polarity there. Down here seems to be the big dog, 11598. These are the huge umbra. The leading spot appears to be almost positive blue the whole way through. Look at the back side of the active region. Both polarities clearly within that penumbral region. That could be a delta spot. And again, if this goes quiet or decays, I call shenanigans, especially with yet another eruption waiting until it's away from Earth, this one going off behind the western limb. Anywho, top left you see a dark coronal hole turning in, may or may not be geo-effective, but in 211 angstroms you can see she extends way north. Flare watch continues, hesitantly. Earthquake watch as we approach the Saturn alignment, eyes open, no fear. It's a little before 6 a.m. Eastern time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.